Hello there, this is Jackie one from the Big Mine Sea here today showing you farming. For farming, you're going to need a, some kind of hoe, you're going to need a, some buckets of water, and you're going to need some seeds. There might be some other stuff you're going to need optionally. But for our first type of farm, we need a ditch with water running, such as this. Then using the hoe, we right hand click the ground, which turns it into farmland. We then wait for the farmland to become dark like this. Then we can just right hand click again to plant our seeds. This farm produces wheat. If we want to speed up the process of things growing, we can use bone meal. To use bone meal, we just right hand click the plant. And in this case, they will immediately grow. For our next type of farm, we're going to need an identical farm arrangement to this. But this time, we're going to grow either melons or pumpkins. To grow these, simply put them up one side rather than the other. Once the vines are fully grown, they'll start to produce either melons or pumpkins on the other side. Putting bone meal on these will turn the vines into the fully grown vines. To collect more seeds from these we just, we just punch the vines which should drop the seeds. For our last two kinds of farms we're going to need sand, buckets of water, sugar cane, and one block of cactus. For a cactus farm, it's a simple job of placing the sand down before placing the cactus. These will grow naturally. It's a good idea to break them from the bottom, which means they won't destroy themselves. <clears throat> For a sugar cane farm, it's a simple job of filling up water and placing them around. These will grow, just chop, chop the tops off of them. Okay, now that we have our farm set up, <clears throat> it's a good idea to cover them up. In this video, I'm not going to cover them up. But a general idea is to keep it so that there's all the brightness that you would have before, but with the trample protection. If I were to walk on these crops, they should be destroyed, meaning that you get little to no yield, and it just ruins the crops and how it looks. That's not, the, that's not the case with sugarcane farms or cactus farms. With cactus farms they'll be hurt. With sugarcane farms they won't be. Nothing will happen. Okay, the last farm that I'm going to show you is a nether wart farm. Nether wart is used for, um, for potions in 1.10 or 1.0. To make these, you just need soul sand and nether warts. You can find nether warts growing in a nether stronghold. These ones are good because if you, if you walk over them, nothing will happen. They do take a while to grow, but once they've grown, you've got a good income of these. These are used in potions for quite a lot of the good potions, such as health potions, speed potions, and strength potions. I'm going to upload a video another time about all of these potions and how to make them. I've been Jackie Triple One, and sorry about the monotonous voice.